Well, it sure is a lovely Shabbos. Uh, you know, Shabbat Shalom, peaceful rest. I uh, just came back from a place that wasn't very restful. I figured since the weather was clear and I was bored, I would go up to Walmart. And oh my fucking God. No wonder why we have a problem in this country. The fucking children are completely out of control. Bear in mind, I'm in a wheelchair. It has a very limited speed. But just the general, because this is where the poor folks in Pflugerville go, the, the rich folks and the SJWs and stuff, they go to Target or they go to Costco or they go to real department stores and stuff where they can get quality items, not like the $40 jacket that I'm forced to wear because I really don't have the, and I'm not going to order. You know, if I had just spent what I have on several layers on one decent chopped chicken feather, I don't even care about down jacket, I would be much more comfortable. And I should mention while I'm at it that uh, earlier today, uh, I noticed when I went to uh, to the urinal that this morning when I was putting on clean pants and clean thermals bot on the bottom, I have thermals on the top, I put them on backwards. <laughs> so I guess my butt's going to stay with that overlap, stay nice and warm. But I really, because, and let's get something straight here. We Anglo-Caucasians, I don't know why the Hispanic Caucasians insist on being called people of color and not white and keep using the term you white people because you're white, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm a scientist. I know the fucking difference. I can measure it. I can check your DNA and see that on the Caucasian level, you're not different than me as far as coming from the Caucasus Mountains and shit. But my God, I was just constantly having to be hyper alert. I was just looking for a few things. Basically, I wanted to stock up on my food stuffs because I'm getting my eating up to, to where it should be. And I've had only one good uh, dose of the liquid uh, Dr. Walker's uh, malted barley pain reliever which God commands us to consume for those who are heavy of heart or those who are near death. And I think I fall within the near death range. I understand that my face is in complete shadow to you pretty much. I can kind of see it, but oh my God, I just never seen such. And those fucking kids, they were constantly like watching the, the parents so they could just fucking wreak havoc and run it. You don't know how many times I had to be just split second letting off the, uh, you know, applying the brakes so I didn't come close to And actually, when I was checking out a couple of, I'm going to call them what they is, a couple of black hoes, one almost, almost elbowed me, was bumping up, almost elbowed me right at T7 where I have two fractures. That bitch came close to getting pepper sprayed. I would have fucking immediately, if you had made contact with my person, I would have fucking screamed out and let everybody know, step the back the fuck off of me. And I had my pepper spray ready. In a crowd like that on a Saturday afternoon, people buying chintz and schlock, and especially like the Hispanic guy in front of me, he's, he was buying a lot of stylish new jeans. They didn't want to be bothered with a card. He was just had a stack of them in the belt and some things he and his wife were picking out, you know, just odds and ends. And he went to bend, bend over and sure enough, this entire ass crack was visible. So yeah, he's definitely buying the right type of pants, blue jeans and shit. Them no good gangster, assless, no butt having. You know, in my day, pants came up to your actual waist, which is like an inch below your belly button. And now they sell these things that have no crotch in them as if you're 
you know, you've had your genitals removed and they have no like real butt in them. There's no room for a muscular butt of a hard working man. A hard working man is generally going to have some butt muscle. So I'm decompressing now. I actually took my Xanax before I went up there, so I'm not mixing the Xanax with the alcohol. The Xanax cleared my system, was urinated out, was it totally excreted at the two hour mark. As a matter of fact, I did that inside the store. I excreted the Xanax in the store because it took me forever to get around because I was so busy dodging and looking out for all them rampaging children. You know, in my day, if you took children to a store like that, they stayed in a small cluster near you. They kept their fucking yap shut. They kept their hands off the product or they would face the consequences. You know, I'm kind of glad that I'm going to be dead soon because having to deal with the children that I just saw, having them in charge of, you know, that is the, the idiocracy is underway right now. And the children of the idiots that constitute the idiocracy of this country and of other countries. Did I mention that Misty came up here? The woman that left the food? Like 15 pounds worth of shit in the middle of the night? Well, I'd like to say in my, in my defense, no, there's no defense. Well, I looked all over for you. Well, that's the idea. It's to be not... How did she not know her... I mean, I got like 20 or 30, 40, 50 regular stalkers here. All of them Christians are angry that I won't become a Christian. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm deep, eating deep into my, right now I'm right at it. I had to go up there because at least I confirmed that there are two tents. I don't know what that tape scene that indicating this is waterproof and I've got a couple of spots that I need to if it should be sunny tomorrow should be sunny for several days before the I need to but today I had, because I mentioned no I deleted that video I didn't like it during the night I had a dream that I was stretching out all comfortable and the next thing you know, my ass is almost hitting the ground. I'm panicking, I'm fighting, I'm struggling. It took me almost 15, about 20 minutes and had to put a lot of stressure on. Right now, my if I don't uh, get several more full measures of Johnny Walker, not the one liter ripoff at the Victory Tap shit. If I don't... Uh, because I just want to spend the rest of the day pain free. I have the complete cessation of any donations from the Christians. It hadn't seen anything bigger than a $5 bill. Please, a $5 bill is like, you know, two cups of cheap coffee on a hot, you know, cold day, windy day. But at least at Walmart, I did find that there was. Actually, only two. They had two tents that were a four-man tent, yet only had a center height of four feet two inches. Four feet two inches is really me sitting upright on my ass in the very center of the tent. So they're not even building tents like they used to. You used to be able to get at Walmart, you'd get a $30 tent that was seven feet on the diagonal <clears throat> so that your feet wouldn't actually be touching the wall and allowing moisture to come through because that's what happens when you touch nylon or touch any kind of canvas they always you're always warned if you have any any experience with camping if you remember like the old army uh canvas heavy canvas tents and stuff like that that was the rule is you didn't touch if you touched the canvas or even this tight ass woven nylon, if you touch it, it kind of creates and allows the water to begin penetrating 
what is ordinarily water repellent <coughs> or the canvases were actually were supposed to be waterproof but if you you know if you like shoved you know, pushed your cot up against it or you put something up against that those old army canvas tents or if you touch the roof anywhere other than where the tent poles were meant to go it would start leaking you couldn't even reach up and <clears throat> and if there was condensation you couldn't even wipe it off the inside of the tent or that would just allow for capillary action right through the waterproofing water resistance it wasn't waterproof <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I need my liquid pain reliever, and uh, considering I've watched him several times allow this, he got the message last time, though, he's been leaving me alone, and I think he's been in lockup because they shaved his fucking head, they skinned him good, he's a meth head, Alki, used to come up, he was the one that obviously trashed that area around the tree because there was, he had picked up pieces of particle board and shit and had made himself a little pile of wood to set on while he had buy some alcohol from 7-Eleven and sit over here and drink wine and pound down. He came up twice. And the first time I just didn't say nothing and he caught on and left. Uh, second time he kind of tried to do the same thing and he moved off to that tree over there. And then he brought all his shit and left it under my tree. <clears throat> and the third time he showed up, I said, motherfucker, you ain't getting anywhere close to here because I had to carry off all and pour out all that fucking beer because he bought like a whole case of, of Corona or Modelo, expensive shit. He pounded down about 10 of them and left the rest of them for me to have to pour out because I'm it's easier to pour them out than to carry each pound of actually I don't mind this kind of a sine verite with the I actually needed that for my voice too Misty came up and I thought I was having it, but she was actually blocking the wind. She could hear me once I lowered my volume. But to tell you the truth, there was anger in my voice. She brought me all kind of food that I don't know what the hell's in that food. Some of it was clearly marked as adulterated with some kind of unknown cannabinoids. Put her phone number on there like, and she brought her son up here. And the first thing that they did, she actually asked me for my channel name i said uh no i hide my channel it's i hide it under a rock that's the kid offers me one of the they sell them all the time those little dollar fruit pies that are just loaded with fucking palm oil and fucking corn syrup and every kind of i am not that's the the primary reason I went to Walmart today was I had taken my last Imodium AD this morning. And actually, I found the, my more preferred pill form cheaper, but it's also fewer in a bottle. And don't intend to be, don't intend to be eating no more fucking crap. I'm not going to. Have I given you the roundup on, Okay. This is kind of the bonus round for all, because uh, I know out of the, what is it? It's actually almost 2,000 regular viewers that I have, what they call re returning, and then the new ones, when you add them in, it's 2,000 people watching really pretty much every video. But a lot of them, a lot of the locals, they watch the, there you go, there's a little shoulder in the sun. I think I started off giving this some um, because I really got two or three figures in head and stuff. It's okay. This really especially makes me think about 
the extravagances and all the chintz and schlock and crap that people are probably will return afterwards to try to get cash or get cash back onto their card is what, the way they work it now. You don't get cash from, I don't think, from Walmart. I haven't returned anything to Walmart in years, so I wouldn't know. But never seen so many people just, oh God, just everywhere, just consume, consume. Yeah, it could, you could see the Jesus Christ, Christ in their eyes. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is uh, all about Jesus Christ, my ass. Okay, I've been in Pflugerville now since yesterday for six months. Now, I spent considerable time last night, this morning, mentally recalling and at the, I can't really say Walmart, but kind of an average retail price per unit, not bought in bulk and stuff like that. I have had food items, little tiny lap blankets that weigh six ounces that are like 40 inches by 30 inches and would maybe only be good for a turban except for the fact that I think a lot of them are made out of acrylic uh, or half a turban that I would have had to keep for six months to be useful now uh, I've been given uh, I think six toenail clippers I've been given 10 fingernail clippers. Those all run in the 2 to $3 range each. I have been given I don't know how many pairs of socks. Those, the other day, those were the most expensive pair. Those were $15 socks that I gave to the nice Hispanic lady. Uh, the hat, uh, I've, that's the only thing I've, really I've kept. So yes. I've been given, counting each individual item at a, an average retail price, uh, we're looking at a minimum of around $4,600 to over $5,000 of food, <coughs> clothing, like marked large when it's actually a medium, and socks and shit like that doodads and crap and and food let's not forget food because food is a gift like around thanksgiving it was actually closer to i was low balling it i said i turned away a hundred pounds i turned away at least 120 to 140 pounds of food if from a restaurant as individual meals and restaurant portions was alone uh, more than, and plus what I threw away after what I accepted and then the shit made me ill. So really all of it was useless. You're looking at around almost $1,600 for that. And that's cheap price on that all the doodads and knickknacks and uh, the excess blanket that was you know actually I even have another excess blanket that I really haven't had any need for yet I'm hanging on to it only because I get to sit on it and jack my hips up to as higher higher than my knees in this wheelchair because this wheelchair is a tiny wheelchair though you know, even the ones with the wide ass, because I don't have a wide ass. I'm, I don't. I have a narrow, square, masculine butt. Not like that old Colin, what's his face, was in that New York's Finest. He's playing football. And I, I know you got the hip pads and stuff and the tail pad that makes it look a little rounder, but Colin, whatever, 
you know, Mr. Sexy Guy in uh, so many movies. Uh, didn't he, like, play fucking uh, that Greek uh, homosexual dude, uh, Alexander the... The, the great Alexander the Great Blowjob guy. I remember seeing him running wearing football pants. And I was going, that's one of the most girlish butts I've ever seen. Yeah, I got me a little car blockage here. I may have another because uh, you don't sit around and sip, you know, cough, syrup, and medicine pain medicine you take a, a dose if you take it in too slowly because see my liver function is really good my liver produces alcohol dehydrogenase very quickly i could certainly out drink any woman get her under the table in no time but my desire to get a, a moment under the table is uh, about the same as my desire to have shit in my pants again as in it non-existent I appreciate a lovely female, or especially a sweet female, which Misty was not being today. She was, wasn't was accepting the fact that I had to throw away her food. You saw me. I did a couple of videos on, you know, didn't know her. Well, she did leave her name, and but she left that stuff out all night to get cold and possibly be tampered with, and she admitted that some of it had unknown additives in it. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons that Victory Tap was because right off the bat, I went, let me have it. And the guy goes, we don't have much of a scotch selection. And I go, I saw the square bottle. And I say, that looks like Johnny Walker Black to me. They were charging me $8 an ounce. And after the second one, I told him, give me a double. And funny thing, it came back one ounce. That's why my bill was through the fucking roof. I'm at a point in time where I really don't have the go bag money to go to where I need to go to get clear of big cities and possibly get to an area that's warm. So... I'm spending down because what the fuck? You know, at a certain point in time, you get uh, to the point to where you, you know, I got my best friend as witness. He's an attorney. He has all my messages, you know, me showing him my bank account, showing how much I've been able to save out of my disability because of the generosity of Mostly one woman who was just trying to buy me into Christianity. I'm going to name her now. I thought I already did. Melissa Call, probably a shortening of Callaway because I can't really find any history of the name Call unless it's been altered. And I don't know of any Germanic name Call. Uh. That's better. That's, you know, everybody from Frank Sinatra, crooners, singers, they have a tendency to drink alcohol before they go on stage because it really does help clear up. It helps to kind of get the pipes clear. Like I said before, that's why medications such as... Uh, what was it called? NyQuil. Uh, it was an immediate success was because it was at least 45 proof or something or 90 proof alcohol and Benadryl. The Benadryl would, you know, but that alcohol, especially just before bed, that alcohol would ease your breathing and allow you to go to sleep. You know, people with impaired liver function, I've already consumed at least, you know, three ounces 
four ounces pure. I've consumed about eight ounces of Johnny Walker Red. And do I appear in any way, either in my speech, my enunciation, is there any sign of impairment? No, because I've got a fucking fully functioning liver. You people who tell me, well, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm easy or whatever, you know, one beer and I've had, you know, part of that's because you may be drinking beer that's sulfided. I don't trust these home brewer types not to put in, you can get from any restaurant supply, you can get sodium metabisulfite to keep your, that allows you to peel your potatoes the night before and put them in a kettle full of bucket full of water with some sulfites and keep them white and you people who go to restaurants and eat that goddamn instant mashed potatoes those potatoes should be brown through oxidization yet they're still white because they're loaded with sulfites I've seen a lot of instant mashed potatoes that don't have a sulfite warning on it. How are they getting away with that? This whole country, this whole culture is just really pissing me off. Lord, you can take me tonight if you want to. It's last night I set, I slept setting up to get the hell out that wind. And I'm steady making plans to get out of the wind and hello how are you thank you leafy greens that's my favorite food thank you ma'am god okay merry christmas you do well you know that i'm a bad boy then i'm vulgar i'm mean i'm low thank you so much that's this gives me the power to choose what i need because people keep trying to give me food that costs me money I know. in the cleanup. If I you've been watching, it. it's... I get it. I get it. Thank you so much because when people take away my ability to select what's best... And look at me. Does it look like normal size clothing fits me? I understand that. And totally. almost all of the food supply is poisonous. I eat a really dull diet. I've got... Right there, you can see there's cheddar cheese, flat sticks, and the best tinned beef on earth is so is, is actually the generic uh, great value at Walmart is better than the brand name, and it's non-toxic. There's no additives, no spices, no garlic, no nothing. Yeah. And of late, I've absolutely, and I've actually examined every sweet in town and the only sweet that I can find that isn't toxic and full of palm oil is sweetened condensed milk. I've got a little can of it over there in case I get a sweet tooth some night. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mom, please. My mother didn't. My mother produced five All-American titles and four All-Pro titles because height is almost exclusively uh, nutritional, not... Uh, genetic there's other factors like you know climate like up north it's hard to feed a kid enough to keep them warm and can maintain growth in winter time and childhood diseases can play a part in it but then again i'm one of the people that carry the delta 32 mutations which makes me absolutely immune to stuff like covid and flu and I, almost every day i get up from my health people health system I get a you know you need a flu shot and I the machine doesn't understand if I text them back in capital letters no right. never because they never get the strain right you know they're always I even remember the big swine flu scare of 1976 do you remember that and how many people in this country died of swine flu it was either four or twenty was the because I was working at the walls at the time. That was uh, the year they asked me to become the next and first chemical executioner of the state of Texas. And you have to be picked by a shrink because he has his office right up there in the, I don't know if you're, I doubt you're familiar with the inside of the walls, the oldest prison in the south and the west. Yeah. 
but the shrink picked me because of the way I interact with the, the inmates. And uh, oh, that's, it was a great paying job at the time. And after I was working like 16 hour days, I, I missed one. I finally went in and told them. I said, they've told me all about it. I get all kind of automatic weapons, safe houses, cars, and I get paid more than twice the governor. Mm -hmm. And I get anonymity for you can't ever. And I just told the shrink, uh, I really don't want the job. Even though I was pro death penalty, I was, I still actually have to see it. I'd have to witness yeah. the homicide myself before I could take any action. For sure. And uh, actually, under Jewish law, it takes four unrelated witnesses. You cannot be of the same family before they can carry out a death penalty for a murder okay. under Jewish. That's why they don't have the death penalty in Israel. And uh, actually, as soon as I told the shrink that uh, I don't want the job, he goes, you pass, because you'd have to be crazy to want this job. It's, and at the time, they weren't ex But Thank you so much, because so they've been, <coughs> uh, due to kind of a gossip group, they've uh, they shut off all cash flow to me. So I've been eating into my go bag. Oh, really? Yeah, one lady ratted him out. Uh, let me stop this right here.